Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminis back with another tutorial and today we're going to continue on to basically the final sort of lesson on making a DJ mixtape and today we're going to talk about the auto filter which is another way to be able to do this. Um, we talked about in previous videos about using EQ automation. Um, we also talked about using um, volume automation and now we're going to talk about using the auto filter plugin in Ableton 9. And this is actually not too bad, it's pretty easy and a lot of people use this. So we're going to go here grab an auto filter just drag and drop it into that guy there click in this track drag and drop into this guy here and again I'm using the same songs as the other tutorial so they're all gonna mix and match so the first I'm gonna do is go to the auto filter so the actual part of the auto filter that we're going to manipulate is the frequency And if you click on it it automatically puts it in the uh, automation window for you that's what I love about Ableton anything you touch um, it's going to automatically get put into the automation window so you know what to, you know, manipulate. So this is basically, you know, we're going to scroll up and down, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is what it kind of sounds like, and you all heard this sound. See what I mean? So what we're going to do is go in here and find the spot where you want the two songs to mix. So I've already got that part figured out. I'm going to click on this guy here. Click on the frequency so that's uh, enabled in the automation window. I'm going to go in here, make a couple of points, do one here, one here, and on the point where I actually wanted to mix, which is probably roughly over here. Let me just listen to it. Yeah, right there. So one there and one there for now. Okay, so I've created two points. I'm going to go in here, stretch this one down for now, like so. And you'll see that curve right there. And then let's fine tune this a bit. Let's just say after about eight bars, I want it somewhere like that. And maybe like that, something like that. I want a gradual sort of drop off, something like that. And then come in here and make another point, something like that. And this we're going to drag all the way down anyways, because that's when the song cuts off. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom track. Again, manipulate this so it shows up gonna come in here and this one we're gonna do the opposite because again we want the auto filter to be on and then slowly slowly turning off whereas this one is turned off and then it's slowly slowly gonna come in okay you'll hear this in a second so let's just go in here make a couple of points as well something like that and then I'm gonna come in here manipulate manipulate this oh something like that maybe after eight bars come in like that maybe a little bit like this All right, let's have a listen to this. Ready? And there you guys have it, just a quick tutorial on using auto filter. I mean, I'd probably do this one a little bit more, less of a curve. I thought the drop was a bit too aggressive, but you get the idea. Auto filter is a great way to blend stuff in together. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like more tutorials like this, please click on the eye in the sky. Please like the video and share it. Subscribe to the channel that we set up to date with the latest, greatest information. I'm your boy, DJ Reminis. Peace out.